in this video, I'll take a detailed look at a 70s Express. Yes! I've been wanting to surf one of these for ages. These are so awesome. This is a second generation Express, which is a major update in design from first generation. These lifts have really awesome sounding DC motors with a real nice DC hum to them. So awesome. This is set up to a lift, only the right hand lift is working. These lifts still have their original logic. Inside lifting, various and new house bands have been added and a voice. This has been wired into the existing logic, meaning that these lifts are still completely original. And since this is a set of two lifts, when you press the button on the outside, the logic has decided which of the two lifts responds to the call. And I'm not entirely sure since these lifts are built in the 70s, whether these lifts are like entirely relay controlled, which means they'd have to be like banks and banks of relays to work out the logic of which lifts best to serve the call. Or since the 70s, whether it would have to have been very advanced at the time, whether it actually has some electronics working out some of the features, such as which lift responds to the call. I actually don't know if these lifts are entirely relay controlled, whether they're just semi relay controlled with some electronics involved. I actually don't know. Anyway, let's get a feel for this lift by taking a ride in it. Let's go! Level 4, B, doors opening. Doors closing. Level 6, B, doors closing. Level 3, B, doors opening, lift going down, doors closing. Level G, B, doors opening, doors closing. Level 6, B, doors open. Let's put this lift into fire mode. There's two separate fire mode options, which switches, one for each lift, and when you put lift into fire mode, the lift recalls to the ground floor, but when you go inside lift, it doesn't really work any different to independent service. Then in the 70s, the rules for fire mode aren't the same as what they are today, so you don't have to hold in the button to let the doors close, and when the lift gets to the floor, you don't have to hold the door open for the doors to open. Well, anyway, let's buy this lift in fire mode. Level six B doors opening. Doors closing. And now going up to the top floor and let's open up the doors and take a look on top of the lift and it's a real nice heavy duty lift. Look at the real solid heavy duty chassis, very long lasting and very awesome. Why can't I build lifts like this nowadays? It's just such a nice lift. And when you're on top of this lift and put it into automatic mode, the lift goes up one floor and the lift's coming on. That's very different to like modern day, because when you've got a modern day lift into automatic mode, the lift goes all the way down to the ground floor. Quite odd. Anyway, let's now surface lift. Level 7, B, doors
no one about, luckily. I wonder what lives right up the top floor. There's, there's no cars up there. And, well, it doesn't look like someone's come to check up on what lifts one out. So this is a list now. Like, back to surfing the lift. And let's uh, let's lift in automatic mode. When you go lift into automatic mode, it goes down to one floor below the car floor. Or if it's already near floor, it goes down to floor below that. Cool, that is a bit similar to how the original Express used to play it, except that went up the floor back. Cool, that is now being modelised into a generic. You can move generic lifts when you go back into automatic mode, but all the way down to the lowest floor. This one does it well. Let's now surface lift. Lights. I should have spotted this earlier, really. at least I can see now. So, let's surf again now, I can see properly. 